rapidly absorb because it was 100% PER. And my experience has been that you can be hungry and take this drink, and by the time you walk from the refrigerator to the next room, your appetite diminishes. And it's probably releasing certain hormones and messengers to the hypothalamus that reads hunger, but only this can do it. And I've tried other forms of protein. And you think, well, steak's high and, and salmon size are 70 or 80 on the PER, not 100%. So I'm looking at that, and I also want to make sure that the patients are getting enough of important nutrients. And interestingly enough, we, have, we want to take nutrients for approximately three different reasons. We want to stabilize blood sugar, resensitize the body to insulin, and at the same time, we want to kick up metabolism. And not coincidentally, these same substances work on the mitochondria just as they did in cytopathic hypoxia. So these same actors, these good guys, these antioxidants that can traverse the cell membrane and also get into the mitochondria can provide all of these wonderful attributes. So what is the diet like? It's two meal replacements, drinks per day. And what I want people to do is flavor the albumin with some great things like blueberries. Remember the blueberries contain the anthocyanins, neuroprotective, brain beauty connection. Also have the active pharmacophore because of catechins. And once that is pureed, then you add the egg albumin. Give it a quick stir. You do not want to put the albumin in your blender and let it run because your kitchen will be filled with foam. Okay. <laughs> to vary the diet, I use pure non-dutched, non-alkali treated cocoa as another flavoring agent. You can use a sweetener like stevia, run it very quickly. But one thing I do in addition to that is I add coconut oil because it is an amazing substance. Coconut oil is actually classified as a medium chain fatty acid, so it's shorter length. And because of that, the gallbladder doesn't get involved, nor the liver, when we take in coconut oil. And what happens is it instantly gets into the body as a source of energy. It turns on something called thermogenesis. It makes us burn up calories instead of putting on body fat. What I saw with this is rapid weight loss. Average 12 pounds in two weeks, 18 to 22 pounds per month, without getting the drop off in weight that we've seen with other diets. At the same time, maintaining muscle mass, maintaining energy levels, maintaining the health and beauty we have before. We, and all of these incredible metabolic ingredients that go with it and have to go with it. The critical portion of this is not just the high PER protein, but to have the metabolic ingredients with it that we looked at for cytopathic hypoxia, because that's what makes control of the appetite and gives you the energy. So what's happening is we're not just losing weight, we're rejuvenating every cell in our body. So we can look at this as a modified fast, and we know that fast actually helps repair DNA and that people who fast can actually repair a lot of their DNA in a very short period of time. So I'm believing that one of the factors here is this is a modified fast. We can sensitize the body to insulin with these nutrients, we can control blood sugar, and we control our appetite. So what are the ingredients that we're gonna look at? And I wanna run through these because I think they're important. First of all, I have people on this meal replacement diet take fish oil. It's omega-3. Now, omega-3s are essential fats. It's such an incredible substance. It does something called uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation. You say, whoa, what is that? Basically, it gets into the mitochondria and makes us produce heat instead of turning it to storage of body fat. And I was always interested in uncoupling, an uncoupling agent because before I went to medical school, um, I was interested in kind of exercising, and, and I was one of those 95-pound weaklings, so I went ahead and lifted weights and gained weight. And what would happen is I was eating 7,000 calories a day to maintain my weight and lifting weights. And at night, I would throw off tremendous amounts of body heat. So I looked it up, and it says, oh, it's postprandial thermogenesis. It's the heat you produce after a meal. And so I stayed thin, but I put on muscle mass. I threw off so much body heat. I was in college. At, my, at that time, my girlfriend said, I can't even get near you. So I said, spread it around campus. I'm so hot, you can't get near me. <laughs> The problem was, as I got older, the heat production went down and the body fat came on. So I started saying, well, I know it's uncoupling of oxidative phosphorylation, so what can I do to find an uncoupling agent? 
And when I got to med school, I went to the library, I immersed myself in the books and looking for uncoupling agents. And I w didn't have much luck. I mean, there were some things I mean, that worked beautifully. Actually, potassium cyanide worked beautifully, but the side effect profile was not acceptable. <laughs> right there in front of me were omega-3s, fish oil, that uncouples oxidative phosphorylation, increases postprandial thermogenesis and gets us thin. At the same time, improving our immune system, our brain, our skin, maintain bone density, maintain muscle mass, anti-inflammatory. It increases sensitivity to insulin. And then it has one other incredible effect. And I hate to bother you with more acronyms, but there's something else called PPAR. And this stands for Peroxisome Proliferator Activated Receptor. You can forget it now. But it's in the nucleus. And when you turn on PPAR, it changes the way our metabolism works. And it funnels energy production instead of storage of body fat. PPARs are a powerful anti-inflammatory. We call the omega-3s a PPAR ligand because it's a key that turns on PPARs. Now, could you ever think of anything being more perfect? I mentioned coconut oil in the drink, and I want to talk a little bit more about that. Coconut oil is a saturated fat, but we've been told stay away from saturated fats. You need saturated fats for structural integrity of the cell membrane. Otherwise, it doesn't hold up. You can't hold on all the receptors, the insulin receptors and all the others, hormone receptors. And so by not getting enough saturated fat, you get into trouble. You also gain weight not getting enough saturated fat. So we get confused sometimes because we as physicians have given out misinformation for decades. Okay? So this is a perfect saturated fat because it's a sh medium chain length, and so it doesn't have to go process in the liver or use the gallbladder and creates body heat, thermogenesis. At the same time, the saturated fat can decrease cholesterol and increase our metabolic rate, give us the cell integrity that we need, the firmness. It's a structural thing at the same time. I told you that in the morning I have my cup of tea and I put coconut oil in there, but coconut oil is fabulous for cooking with because it doesn't oxidize, it doesn't create free radicals because it's a saturated fat. You can replace the vegetable oil in any cakes or bread you're making with coconut oil. Fantastic flavor, much healthier for you. So coconut oil also is a natural antibacterial, gives you energy, and helps you lose abdominal body fat. And so it's critical to this portion of the diet.